Hi, welcome to episode four of Late Talks. I'm a la- I'm almost said Miss Alea, like I'm a nanny. I'm used to I'm used to being like, hi, Miss Alea. I'm Alea Woodley. Um, and on here we talk about pop culture, random stuff, things that are happening in my life, things that's happening in the media, and it's insane. Today we're talking about yeah, yeah. We're talking about Risa Tisa, Risa Tessa. I don't know. We're talking about it because the Legion of Lies is, is, like, what are we do, Bro, we're just going to get into that. We're obviously going to do a People's Choice Awards Best Dressed. We'll also be talking about Love is Blind. I haven't watched the show. All of my inf- information about Love is Blind is from TikTok. Um, and we got to talk about Megan. We got to talk about another, another Megan in the media. Uh, Megan Fox, Miss Natalie. We'll talk about her, but that'll be, that'll be towards the end. We gotta start with Legion of Lies. We gotta! Because if you haven't seen this 50-part series, what have you been doing for the past... What have you... Where where have you been the past week? If you have not seen the Legion of Lies... So here we have a list of his Legion of Lies, and we're gonna go through it. <laughs> <coughs> Legion of Lies. Okay. I just want to go through these and we're going to talk about them and talk about what I thought about the series. First of all, my initial thoughts of this is he was just doing this for funsies. He was just, he was just lying for funsies. I understand. Let me talk about it. I understand lying to get something out of it, right? You're lying because you have a motivation of, of getting something from this person, of, of, of getting money or love or companionship, something. He was just doing it for funsies. He was paying her bills. So you were just lying to waste her time. I think that's the, I think that's the, the worst crime. I think that's the worst crime. And a lot of people are like, oh, you waste my money. Ah, ah, ah. When you waste my time, that's when I get the most mad. That's one of my biggest pet peeves that everyone knows about me. Do not waste my time. I only have so many sons. I only have so many days. And you're gonna waste my time, and that's what that's what he did. He would have her running around places. He would have her, oh, let's go look at my VP office. Oh, wait, JK, JK. Oh, let's buy a house. JK, JK. Bro, you're you're having me run around wasting my time. That's you're deranged. You're a different kind of deranged. So we're gonna go through this social security number on the marriage certificate. So he's never so that showed, and then living in California. So that showed that he never was in California. He lied about that. He was saying, he was saying, oh, my ex-wife, two kids. Um, oh, we were in 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 uh, California and we uh we we divorced, whatever, and we're no longer, yeah, we lived in California for a bit. No, he did it. Why lie? There's no reason why to lie about that. Next one. Uh, playing arena football. First of all, what is arena football? And why is that, like, like why is that the job that you chose to lie about? We're going to look that up right now. Arena football. Arena football can refer to one of three successful pro- professional indoor American football leagues in the United States. The first of these, which it founded in 1986 and played its first official games in 1987 season, running for two <laughs> running for 22 consecutive seasons until going bankrupt following the 2008 season. So, 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 you, so you're lying, bro. First of all, Risa, you could have just looked this up. You, I, you should have looked this up and been like, this ended in 2008. He could have lied. He could have lied on a job that exists. This doesn't even exist anymore. Arena football, it, it went big up in 2008. Not even like, oh, it went big up in 2019, so I used to do it. Blah, blah, blah. What? All right, yeah. All right. Anyways, next one. His dad being a pastor and having a church in Georgia. And he takes her to that church. Be like, ah, oh, yeah. <sighs> Bro, you got to be some type of derange. Pulling up to the church. Yeah, no, this is... This is the church that uh, my dad pastored at. This is the one that he has. So you're wasting gas. You're making up stories. My question mark is, 
why didn't you just become a writer? Like, you could have been making more money becoming a writer, becoming an actor, than wasting this woman's time. Yeah, this is the church. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy was never a pastor. Apparently, never went to church. None of that. Having two siblings by his dad that weren't born prior to his dad marrying his mom. So we get a, so she finally calls, I don't know his name. She calls one of the brothers, not the twin brother, but a different brother. And he's like, yeah, no, Legion is the youngest, and he has a twin brother that's 20 minutes older, and then there's me. And I can't believe he lied on our dead dad. Uh, there's no other two siblings, um, meaning that he's just talking on the phone to nobody. We'll get to that. But he's like, no, there's no other two siblings. And she's like, what? So why make up two more people? My question mark is, why are you making up lie? Like, you're making up human beings, right? Having two sisters. Nope. He does not have four siblings. He has two other siblings. There's a total of three kids. There's, there's a mom, dad, three kids. No sisters. No other two brothers. Like, I'm trying to think of this man's thought process and how, like, you ha he had to have a journal. I want to find his journal because you had to have one where you're lying to this extent. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to even process right now. You're making up human beings. Having a baby brother that's actually his twin, saying that, having, okay, okay. Having a baby brother that's actually his twin, talking to his older brother, baby brother, on the phone every morning, no one was on the phone. So, so having a having the baby brother, the baby brother is a 20 is the is a twin brother that's 20 minutes older than him. He's she Risa is saying, I'm on the phone with this man. No, he's on the phone with his brother, his younger brother. 30 to 45 minutes every day. Doing this right here. Here we go. Doing this right here. I'm gonna try to reenact this the best that I can. That that can be, uh, that is, uh, believable. And your your Risa, okay? Oh hey hey yeah what's up? Oh nothing. My phone literally just went off. My phone literally just buzzed. That's already okay. Anyway. Oh yeah hey what's up what's up? Oh nothing. I'm just sitting here with Risa. Hey uh say hi Risa. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. No, she's she's there. She's there. Uh, what am I doing right now? Just watching TV. Just watching TV. Getting ready for work, actually. About to go to work. Yeah, no. What are you up to? And you're sitting there in silence. Oh, that's dope, 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 dope. What? Do you see? Look, look, look at me. Look at me shaking. Look at me, too. That, this man, this man had to be going in a psychosis. This man had to be going crazy. Because you're saying you're sitting on, so you're doing this? And nobody's on the other side? That's mental. That's mentally deranged. That's mentally deranged, dude. That's scary. Okay, okay, okay. Being being the VP of a production at a um at a company, right? First of all, it's actually his alter ego, his twenty his twenty minute older twin. His twin brother is actually a VP, so he really was just taking the life of his brother. His brother is really the VP. He's saying, "Oh, I'm a VP of this company, this building right here, right here." Yeah, Reese is like, "Oh, take me to the building. I want to see your office. I haven't seen your office. Take me to the building." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just call. Let me just call Willie." Fake phone call. Hey, Will, you there? Nobody on the other line. Oh, no? Is John up there? No? Oh, okay, okay. Well, do you think anybody could be there to let me in so I could, because I know I don't have the weekend pass, weekend pass. So I'm thinking, like, can I get in? Oh, okay, no, yeah, we'll head over to the building. Again, wasting my time. I'm, you, we drive over to the building? And we're sitting there for nobody? You're crazy! Bro! Bro, listen to me, listen to me. This would have this 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 would make me so mad if this happened in my whole life. 
because you're wasting my time. You're not even stealing money from me, bro. You're not stealing my money. You're stealing my time. We're in the parking lot sitting pretty waiting for nobody. What is going through your head to be like, yeah, yeah, let me, let me, yeah, look at you waiting. Look at you waiting. What? Okay. All right. Having three different U.S.-based uh, bank accounts and, uh, and one offshore account with a copy total with hundreds of thousands of dollars. These, all these accounts that he was showing here, all these pictures, these, these printouts, whatever, whatever, people were saying the printer was his best friend. Yeah, it was because you're showing her bank accounts. She Google reverses it, and it's the first picture on Google of a of a of oh I have seven hundred thousand dollars, whatever, whatever. Bro, who has this time? That's why you got no job, and that's why that's why you you end up homeless. You have no job because you're 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 investing your time in a lie for one person when you could have been typing this out, and this could have been a whole story for yourself. And look at her making bank off of you because you're dumb. You're deranged. She really, she, he really printed out bank statements. Okay. His ex-wife, his ex-wife cheating on him. I think I missed that part. There's times where, there's times where I did fall asleep watching, was singing to her. She does have a soothing voice. I could just put her on. I just fell asleep. Missed that. Working at Apple. Missed that. Okay. His friend Scott, who was also a realtor, not to be confused with this Scott, the actual realtor. <sighs> if you get on the I internet and make a video I just that goes viral, this part two of this that says I made all, all of these lies, and you can and pause the read she, or do quick screen to see it all. Talk about, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no, no, no. So yeah, let's talk about Scott. He is, he has a friend named Scott, which I don't think exists. I don't think it existed. I can't remember. Can it, didn't exist. But him and Scott, he would, he, okay, bro, he would go to work, which I don't know where he went. He apparently only worked at a construction site, but he would go to work and she was like, oh, he would leave at 6.30, come home at 3 every day, 3, 3.30. And then once he said he was started looking for a house, he wouldn't come home until like 5, 6, because he's saying that he's looking for a house with Scott, not to be confused with the other Scott. Looking for a house, looking for a house. Bro. You're, there's no house. There's no house. So what are you doing for two, three hours after your job? Dude, to keep up a lie, this has to be dedication. And the thing is, there has to be some type of drive, right? Some type of dedication that this man has to have to be able to be con this consistent in a lie. You know what I mean? To be able to keep these, keep these lies up. Do you not, are you not stimulated in, in any other way? Like, do you not have other things going on in your life that you could that you could be doing? How about you do real football? Do you have other things that are going on in your lives that that could be stimulating you other than lying to your wife? Insane. Okay. Willie, the security guard at the building, did not work with. We talked about that. His aunt, who's actually his mom's friend. Um, yeah. Apparently his brother or something like that. His older brother was like, aunt, who? Tell me the name. She tells her the name. He's like, that's a friend that we don't even talk to no more. So that means the aunt was in on it? That's what I'm getting? There's some things that I think I missed. Because was the aunt in on it? Not being like, oh, I'm not actually his aunt. Um, and I don't think she met any of, uh, any of his other family. I think that was like the only family that she met was the aunt. And then telling that aunt that Risa had a baby. He goes and tells the aunt, no, 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 no. Because there's fake aunt and there's real aunt, right? So the fake aunt we don't even talk to, but when, but Risa finally gets in contact with real aunt, and she's like, yeah, like I've been I've been trying to trying to meet you and the baby, and Risa's like, what baby? I had a miscarriage back in June of last year. Back in June of 2020, I had a, I had a miscarriage and there's no baby boy. And the aunt's like, oh, my gosh, like, this guy is lying to everyone. And you have to keep up the lie. And you have to make sure you have to remember which person you lied to and what, what like, what lie that you told this person or what lie you haven't told this person yet. And he told the aunt that they had a kid. There's no kid. Huh? Okay. Working at the cemetery. I don't even know what that one's for. But I don't, I don't know. Uh, being a forklift driver. 
I think that's what his real job was. I promise y'all watch these videos, but I'm, I'm misremembering things now. Impersonating an officer, officer and other charges. So he's an ex-felon, because that's a felony to, to impersonate an officer. He impersonates an officer, knocks on this lady's door, and the one lady that he knocks on is also an officer, and she calls up her officer buddies being like, hey, like this officer's here patting me down. They're like, we don't know who this guy is. He gets booked, and now he's a felon, so no, he couldn't vote, and no, they couldn't even go to, to London, nothing like that, because he's a felon. And so that, so he would just tell her things like, oh, we're going to go to London, get to Paris, just to see her excited. So so you're, you're, you're getting stimulated, and you're, you're getting happy, and, and blah, blah. You're getting happy, excited from people, from other people getting excited from, from fake things that you're saying. That's crazy. You're crazy. You're scary crazy, dude. Whatever. Next point. Her ex pulling up at her house looking for her. There was no ex. And the thing is what made me so mad about that is that when he was like, oh, hey, your ex is here. He pulled up in a Dodge Charger. He told her he called her while he, while he while she was at a nail appointment that he set up during her birthday. So you just wanted to ruin her birthday present. Because when you're at the nail salon, you're getting your nails done, you're so excited, blah, blah, blah. You're having a good time. And you get a call being like, oh, someone pulled up. Your ex is here, blah, blah, blah. So now she's getting her nails done and she's anxious, scared, all these things. And she can't even enjoy the, the birthday gift. And that makes you, that that gives you something, like you get off on that? Like that that gives that that makes you happy? Like you're weird. Like she's trying to enjoy her birthday and you're saying, oh, your ex pulled up. She goes to the neighbor's cameras and be like, there's no, no one pulled up. She has a door, she has like a door um monitor thing that tells her every time the door's open, the door was open for one minute. Door was open for one minute, closed the next minute. So no, nobody was at the door. He didn't talk to nobody. So you just called her just to call her, just to see her reaction. Okay, next one. The ex is what, bro, his ex-wife's daughter dying, saying that she died of COVID. You're weird. Like, don't put death on a child like that. Because when she was able to get, whenever, whenever she was able to finally get in co t contact with the, with the, um, with the, with the ex-wife, she's like, how's your daughter? And the, and the ex-wife is like, oh, she's fine. Like, they're fine. The kids are fine. And she's like, the, the daughter's alive. Like, how could you say that? How could you? And it's good that Risa didn't be like, oh, hey, he lied on your daughter's life. Because that would, as a mom, that would have been, that, I'm not a mom. Like, why did I say as a mom? But, I'm, I mean, for her as a mom, that that's troubling just to even, like, have that in your head. Like, oh, my kid dying of COVID or something like that. Bro, weird. Okay. Sending shoes to his niece, Egypt. Niece. So who was he sending kid shoes to? So does he have another kid? Or was he just buying kid shoes for fun? My, my, I think it's the second one. I don't think he has another kid. I think that he was just buying kid shoes and making her, again, wasting her time, making her go to the post office, mail, signing mail, sending kid shoes off to nobody. I think that I truly think that there was no kid because of how insane, like the list of things that, that she has to, um, the list of things that he's lied to, lied about. I truly believe that there's no kid and he was just having her send kid shoes just to waste her time, just for a laugh. That's not even funny. Like who is, like I, I wish I could be there when he was growing up because who told him that this was okay? Like who entertained his lies? And it was like, yeah, this is how you should treat people. Insane. Okay. Talking to women on Facebook Messenger. Peach is the alleged sex worker. First of all, we you already know. We've already people have already talked about this. Peaches, your your peaches, your prices are too low, even for 2020 and 2021. Your prices were too low. Two. Why are you talking to other women? That's not that's not, that's like the, the least of her worries. Like, was him cheating? Like, honestly, that was the least of her worries. His grandma dying in twenty twenty. She died in two thousand eight. So that was a lie. Uh, talking to cousin Junebug. Junebug. Uh, I can't remember if he doesn't exist or he died because he would be on the phone again with Junebug. 
Hey, what's up, Junebug? Oh, nothing. We're just sitting here. Say hi to Junebug. He definitely heard you. Bro. Being a private citizen. Whatever. I don't know what that one means. Buying a company. Uh, the company buying him a car. So, and keep, and keep, and keeping said car at the building where Imagination Willie worked. So he was saying, oh, I have a company car, company car, like, A, hey, but I can't take it home. So I drive my car to a building and drive that car to my work. So why, so a company car is to help with mileages. The company car does not exist. He would just wanted to get her excited, being like, oh, I'm tired. I might bring the company car home. I might bring it home, and then you could see the BMW, blah, blah, blah. Just to get her excited, because she also wanted a BMW. Girl, I'm so happy she got out of that. And I'm so happy she didn't have a child on him because she would have been stuck with him for life. Um, oh, oh, my company cars. That don't make no sense. You're, dri you're driving to a car to drive to a building. That don't make no sense. I just wish, like, Risa would have, like, saw that and understood being like, okay, he's obviously lying about this car that is such a big red flag. Like, <sighs> attempting to buy Risa a dark blue BMW. So he would have her try jet test drive cars, being like, oh, I'm going to buy you this one. I'm going to buy you this one. Oh, blah, blah, blah. No car ever was ever going to be bought. He had no intention on buying her a car. I'm just sad at this point now. He had no intention to buy her a car. But he would get her excited, waste her time, and be like, oh, I'm going to buy you this car. And there was no car. There was never going to be a car. So he would waste her time. He would waste dealer dealership people's time, realtors' time, being like, hey, uh, I have, I have $700,000 in cash. Okay, can we see the proof of funds? And then you can have the house. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to show the proof of funds. I don't want to show my bank account. Okay, then you cannot have this house. Right, I need to see the proof of funds. We can't just, we can't just sign this house over to you. And we don't know if you can actually pay it off and give us the money. Proof of funds. And he wouldn't show it. He was never to get the house. He, he never had the funds. But I still don't under, I still don't know how he was paying her bills. Because that's that's the only thing that was keeping that was the only that was the only reason why she was staying. That's the only just that's the only reason why he was staying, which I understand. Someone's paying my 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 bills. I'm staying. What? I, I have like two grand of bills every month. You you give me two grand, yeah, like. Uh, I'll look over the red flags. Okay, what's the next one? Buying Reese's ring from a jeweler he bought off Amazon and Bradley. So I think 33 and 34 are from parts that I haven't watched it from. But that's crazy. That I mean, that's not crazy. I mean, knowing who he is, that's not crazy that he bought he bought it off of um bought it off of Amazon. And that's just sad at this point. I just feel sad for her. All in all, I'm just really sad for her. I'm happy that she was able to get out of it. You know, it was a year and a half of her life. This man from March 2020 to July or August of 2021. But this man has, she can no longer, like she's talked about, it. she's like, I can no longer trust people. And I really have to like vet people and, and things like that. And it's going to be hard for her to find love again and to be able to trust somebody because she's scared it's going to happen again. But Risa, let me tell you something. He's an anomaly. He's an anomaly. I'm I'm so sorry. He he's he's like a lottery ticket. It's not gonna happen again. It's not gonna happen again to this extent. You will, you are gonna meet pathological liars again, because there are people out there. People just do lie to lie, but not to this extent. People are not this good. People are not this good at lying. That's the thing. That's the thing about about Legion, is that he was able to keep his his tabs. He kept his tabs together. He had a notebook. He had some type of something but you will meet pathological liars in your life but not not this good to this extent and you'll be able to quickly be like no that's not what you said last time that's not what you said you're a liar and cut it quick man 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 moving on i did honestly i did want to talk about that little girl who how do I say this in the most appropriate appropriate way? 
I want to talk about that little girl that got hired, not hired, that her mom, child labor laws, uh, had her, her, mm, her mom had her shaving women. Okay. She's like five years old and her mom had her shaving women. That's the extent of what I'm going to say. And you can either look this up or try to figure out what I'm trying to say. But the fact that she, this little girl, worked on 24 women, 24, 27, one of those numbers, more than 20 women, this little girl worked on. Okay, let's talk about it. Because, first of all, the mom tried to be like, oh, we made $720 that day. She worked from 7.30 to 5. So so child labor. So she worked 10 hours. And and you're taking pictures of it. So that's child or or child wrongography that you're that you're uh posting on on social media. One, or that's two. Three, there's 20 plus women going into that room. You're laying down. I've never had a Brazilian wax. You're laying down, getting ready. This makes me so mad, these, these women. You're laying down getting ready. You're waiting for your, for your technician. Ooh, ooh, yay, I'm really nervous, blah, blah. This is like a, oh my gosh. And a child walks in. A child, a, a child walks in and your reaction is, yeah, this is normal. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Your... You're aliens versus predator. You're aliens versus predator. What are you what are you talking about? What what are you bro? I I was so, I was so shook to, shook to know that there was 20 plus women that not did not even think to protect this little girl and you know it was a blessing that she that she posted it on on internet because the police are after her and the police are like please do not post please do not screenshot and send People are dumb. Please do not screenshot this and send it to your friends and post it on your social medias talking about it because that is that is spreading child wrong off wrongography. First of all, why are we screenshotting it and, and sending it out and spreading it? Huh? One. Two, this mom has no sense of like she 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 tries to be like, oh, I'm sending I'm 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 passing down my legacy. I'm passing down my legacy. Oh my gosh. This is she's gonna she's gonna know from young, blah blah. People are thinking that she was 16 until she, she saw because 16 is still horrible, still a child. But when they saw there were five, they were like, what? And she has she has no thought in her head being like, this is wrong, and I should not be exposing my child to that. I just wanted to, I just wanted to touch on it for a minute. Because there's no way. There's no way you thought that was okay. There was, there's no way you thought that was okay. Her working for ten hours and twenty women not being like, this is not okay. This is, this is, this should, this is illegal. This is, this is criminal. And so the mom should be in jail. The child should be taken away and put with another family. And those twenty women need to be investigated as well, because that is that it. What? Oh my gosh. Moving on. Anyways, moving on. Let's talk about let's talk about Love Is Blind. All the all the information I know from Love Is Blind again is all from TikTok. Natalie really tried to be like I look like Megan Fox, and the thing is, somebody did edit her photo to make her forehead shorter, sh- shorter and her chin shorter, and then yeah, that's when you look like Megan Fox. But her head is so big. I'm sorry, I'm a girl's girl. I promise. But her forehead is big and her chin is big. No, you don't. You don't look like Megan Fox. And also, when people think of Megan Fox, yes, people think of Megan Fox's face, sure, sure, sure. But people are really thinking of Megan Fox's body. They're thinking of they're thinking of Megan Fox as a whole. They're not just thinking of her face. So you're, I'm not saying that she looks bad. I'm just saying it's not the same. Okay, there's there's all kinds of different beautiful bodies. It's not one plus one and two doesn't equal one and two are not equal. You know what I mean? Does one equal two? No, one equals one. Two equals two, three equals three. Three doesn't equal two. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't mean that three and two are, are ugly. I'm just saying that three and two are not equal. Right, that makes sense. That makes sense to you. So I wouldn't be like, 
oh, I look like Megan Fox. Not Megan Fox. I wouldn't be like, oh, I make, I look like Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, I've been told I look like Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. What? If I were to lie and be like, mm, yeah, I look like I look like Megan Thee Stallion a little bit. Like, if, like if you just like really look at me, and like, yeah, I've been told that. People are immediately gonna think of, oh, Megan knees, Megan thighs, Megan, Megan, like Megan's body. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, Megan, Megan is beautiful. Megan is beautiful in the face as well, but you're also thinking of her as a whole. Okay? So when you look at me, you're not thinking Megan, Megan the Stallion. You're thinking Megan the Stallion. You know what I'm saying? So I would never. People know. Megan, Megan Fox has been known to be like one of the most beautiful women. In, in movies. She was on Transformers and that's she was very much sexualized, unfortunately. And she's been sexualized. Was, I, we're not even gonna get into Megan Fox. I don't like her. I don't like her history of, of her film because she was just been sexualized her whole career. And then like when she is, yeah, we're not gonna get into it. But anyways, so when you think of Megan Fox, you think of that. When you think of Megan the Stallion, you don't think of Alea. Okay? So I would never lie like that. I would not like if I were trying to compare myself to somebody so that it could be like, oh, I mean, okay. I can't think of anybody. I can't think of anybody. But if I were to think of somebody, it would have to be like, oh, I mean, okay. I mean, she's okay. Like, you know, like you wouldn't think of like the most beautiful person on planet. So Natalie said that she looked like Megan Fox. Tanner, I'm going to call him Tanner. I don't remember his name. The man that, uh, that, that was behind, that was on the other side was like, oh, you look like, Me he got, he got excited. He got ecstatic. He was like, you like, you like Megan? You like Megan Fox? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I want you now. Because he didn't go for the other girl. The other girl's like, oh, Ben, you're gonna be, you're gonna, you're going to fall out when you see me. Because she looks like the she looks like Miami. Like she looks like um any girl from Miami. So like picture a girl from Miami, you're like, oh, okay, she looks like that. So conventionally beautiful, sure. So she's like, you're going to, you're gonna need your inhaler because you're going to, your jaw's gonna drop. You're going to, you're going to pass out when you see me. But that's how beautiful I am. And so he's like, he's a little shaken up. He's like, oh, okay, but I have Megan Fox on the other side. So, like, it's fine. They finally have the proposal. He proposes to Natalie. So they have to meet in person. They finally meet in person. No, it opens this way. His face drops. The doors open. He's like looking at her like, she comes running, boom, 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 running to him. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Is, uh, you're so handsome, you're han so handsome. He, he can't even speak. He does not even say anything about her looks because she's like, oh, you look so great, you look so great. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Confessionals, she definitely lied. She definitely isn't like Megan Fox. So, like, you are not here. Like, that's what you get for not being here for the experiment. You need to be here doing it for the experiment. Do you, do you like her personality? Love is blind. It's supposed to be about the personality. We're never getting it. We're never getting a Laura, Lauren and uh, Cameron again. We're never getting it again because these men are trying to figure out what these women look like. And it's like, love is blind. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be by personality, no? Because I saw another another clip of this black man trying to figure out what this girl looks like. And he's like, yeah, I'm definitely like attracted to petite, small, nice eyes and things like that. And she's like, okay, anyways, about like, do you want to get to know me or what? Bro, I couldn't, you, you couldn't put me on this show. That's all I, that's all I got to say. You couldn't put me on this show because I'd be mad. I'd be like, I'm walking out of the room, bro. Like, What? Anyways, I just want to talk about that. She did. She is actually lied, per se. It's just that you don't say that. You don't say you look like Megan Fox. You know, that's just not something you say because people are going to immediately think this supermodel looking kind of woman. I'm sorry. They're going to think when I, if I would have, it's like if Bella Hadid said, I look like Megan Fox, it'd be like, okay. They don't look the same, but they're supermodels. Like they they look like supermodels. So it's like, okay, they they're in the same, they're in the same category of women. You know what I mean? Like it's like, does that make sense to you? Like, 
I wouldn't put myself in a, I wouldn't say, oh, I, oh, I look like, no, nah, who's that, uh, supermodel, uh, not Normani, it's an, forgetting her name that black supermodel I wouldn't I wouldn't say I look like a supermodel I'm not saying I know Megan Fox isn't a supermodel but she is it's like it's like if Megan Fox was like oh I look like uh uh I'm forgetting people's names uh Barbie Mar Margot uh, it's like if Megan Fox was like oh I look like Margot Robbie oh okay you're in the same category okay yeah 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 sure you don't look like her but you're in the same category you cannot like Natalie you can't say that. Like, you can't You can't say you're in the same category. I'm sorry, girly girl. I'm not saying you're ugly. You're very pretty. She's pretty. Like, that's the thing, too. He, 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 his head is thinking, he, his, his head is already messed up because he's wanting, he's, he was looking for a Megan Fox supermodel kind of girl. So his head is, his, his head is fogged up. If he just sat back and looked at her, she's very beautiful. She's very, very pretty. So, but his his head his head's messed up. So like, there's nothing that you can do at that point. Moving on. The last thing that we're gonna talk about is the People's Choice Awards. Uh, we're gonna do best dress. Best dressed. We're gonna do People's Choice Awards. I just um I just know that it's really funny. I just know it's really funny because um listen, listen, listen. Apparently people are mad at Billie Eilish because like she's like, oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of TikTokers here. Yeah, there are a little a lot of TikTokers here. As in, ugh, go somewhere. Sorry, not ugh, go somewhere, because I'm also a TikToker, and I'm also trying to do this, like, social media thing. But, like, I get where she's coming from, where times are changing. Times are changing for celebrities. Like, there's a lot of TikTokers here. So she's, like, not used to this because she's Billie Eilish. So she's not used to, like, C and D listers being there. Because, like, there's A, or I guess B listers. I don't know where TikTokers stand. But she's like, yeah, there's a lot of TikTokers here. But also, you have to think, Billy, TikTokers were the ones that were that are making your songs go viral. I thought you know that. Like, she should know. She should know that. That TikTokers, it's like those are the ones that are going viral. But then also, I don't understand why people are going after her, being like, oh, that's so rude. Ugh, who cares? Who cares? There are a lot of TikTokers here. I'd be looking sideways too. I'd be like, is this what it is now? Like, is this the is this how people's choice awards gonna be now? Where it's like half TikTokers half artist, half movie people, like what, what's going on here? So like, yeah, I'll be the same way. Anyways, let's go here. Movie of the year went to Barbie. Action movie of the year went to Hunger Games. Oh, I didn't watch that. Uh, comedy movie of the year went to Barbie. Drama movie of the year went to uh, Oppenheimer. Comedy movie star of the year went to Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, nice. I liked her in that. Drama Movie Star of the Year went to Jenna Ortega and Scream 6. Um, movie Performance of the Year went to America Ferrera, Barbie. Awesome. I love that. Okay, let's see who's best dressed. Oh, no. Okay, Sydney Sweeney in a simple red dress. I love when her hair is down, and this is a cute. This fits her very well. I that's what I liked about um about the movie uh and better than anyone, anyone better, anyone but you. They the tailor tailored, the tailor tailored, and this is another really good tailoring here. Lenny Kravitz and everything that he he wears the same thing every single time. Oh, this is really elegant. I like that. I like how her um her hair is dyed black to match this. It's giving feather duster, but it's it's elegant. It's an elegant feather duster. Boring. Boring. Simu! 
I love him. I love him. And I love his suits every single time because he always um he always does something colorful. He always does something cute, fitted, great. Simu, hi. It's giving tinfoil. Lucy Hill. Okay, this is cute. I wouldn't wear this. Oh, I love this. Uh, this is like, it's still giving that Little Mermaid feel. After the pregnancy, she's out there on the People's Choice Awards carpet. It's giving Under the Sea. It's giving Ariel. It's giving Princess. 10. Guys, so you don't want me to review the dresses or something? There's more than just four people that went. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I spy snow. What is this? I spice, what is this? No. Bro, these ads. Sorry. Um, no, I spice. No. Heidi Klum. Okay, okay. Too much necklace for me, but I do like the train. That's this is cute. Billy Eilish. Okay, what's been going, guys? What's been going on with Billy Eilish's style recently? Like, she's been doing these like boxy looks. I do like this outfit, but like for for like carpet, for like award shows, this is what she's been wearing recently, and I'm just not feeling. I'm not feeling this like new look. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I do like it though. Like, is that weird? That like, you know what I'm trying to say? I would. I really like this top moment. Is this pants? Okay, if it's pants, I like it. I would wear this, but not on the carpet. Like, I want to see something that's like, oh, my gosh. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you would wear this on the street or to school or to, like, the mall. Like, you know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. Where's all these? America, really? America, this is ugly. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, who is this? Natasha Bedingfield. Uh, I like this. I, I, oh my gosh, I would wear this. This is a party outfit, giving seventies. We saw her. Let's let's get, go to relevant people. Catherine Hahn, cute. Uh, apparently, yeah, he was there and he like had a weird speech or something like that. <laughs> Thomas giving illusion. He said. He said, I'm putting you in a trance. You're going to love me. I do already love you. So it's, oh my gosh, Thomas. Thomas. Oh my gosh, Thomas. Oh, I don't care. He looks great. I don't care what he wears. Wow. Cute. 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 Jamie Chung. I don't know who this is. What are we doing, bro? What are we doing, bro? Like, I understand we're trying to do fashion statements, but, like, only Zendaya could pull this off. Like, imagine Zendaya in this. She would eat this down. I don't even know how she would. She just would, you know? Anything you could put Zendaya in any of these and she would eat it down. But this is not working for me. If like take a like Zendaya, like if Zendaya were to wear this, the belt would be like just on the chest. Take away the, the black mesh. She would eat this down. Okay? But this isn't working for me. I like this. I def yeah. Yeah, this is this is fly. I like that. Little like shimmery moment. Yeah, that's cute. Zochi. Um, okay, cute. Okay. All right. Yeah, I saw this before already. And I, I agree with the comments of, like, why do you have the extra jacket on top? Get Take the jacket away. I don't know why you're trying to, like, diminish the, the art style. But I think he's trying to um, promote his, his palette, his painted palette or whatever. I don't care. I don't. 
Skip. Okay. This isn't cute. This is not cute. I don't know. It's giving silver marker, but I do love Tana. So. Ugh, I guess I see what they're saying. I don't know any of these people. Aw, Haley Bailey. I love her TikToks. She's so cute. Our little supermodel girly. She like, I I love, uh, I love her because like she knows that she's supermodel be beautiful. Again, if I were her, if I were Haley Bailey, not like as famous as Megan, uh, Megan Fox, I'd be like, oh yeah, I look like Megan Fox. Like if she, and if she came out, I'd be like, oh, you don't look like Megan Fox, but that's perfectly fine. You know what I mean? I'd be like, yeah, listen, you don't look like Megan Fox, but you're in the same, I would put you in that same category, so it's fine. But I love her because like she knows, she's very self-aware of her beauty and that she's a model and things like that. But and then she tries to do this like relatable thing and tries to be all quirky. And I'm like, girl, you know you're pretty. Like, stop. But I I I love her TikToks though. Come on, man. What is this, bro? You thought you ate. What is that? No jewelry? Ear earrings? That's it? Come on, bro. Who are your stylists? Yes. There we go. A fur coat moment. Yes. And the color. Oh, man, I don't think I would have done lime green on her. I don't think lime green's her color. But this is cute. I think maybe like a darker green. But yeah, she's so, she said she's light-skinned. Like a darker green or a different, or a different, maybe a pink or like a purple. But this is, this is cute. Okay, Matrix. Okay. Why am I annoyed by her? She's in a show where she's annoying, where I don't like her in a show. Don't you ever like have that feeling when you look at an actor because they do so like, actor actress they do so good in their role and you're like looking at them and like I don't like them and you don't even know them I forgot what she's in and I just don't like her I don't remember skip I don't know these people I guess that's what Billy is talking about Aw, plastic tiara I love them oh my gosh uh huh. Uh-huh. 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 Oh my God. What are we No. Oh, I saw this one. I don't like this. You should have had a white tea. You should have had a white tee. It would have been nice, but you didn't. But again, if Zendaya wore it, she would have had it. She would have had the the jacket like come in a little bit to, to to her waist, taped it right on her chest. Yeah, she would have ate this down. But again, you're not Zendaya. Okay, Fergie, it's giving Fergie. Okay, I'm bored. I'm bored now. I'm bored. Bored. Ooh, cute. Basic, but nothing can not nothing can beat a basic dress. Okay, why is it backwards? Who would put this on, bro? Like, you really put this on? You were like, yeah, this is this is fashion. This is on backwards. The jacket is on. Like, what are you doing? Who did this, bro? This makes me mad. This just makes me that just made me mad for no reason. Okay, flapper girl, Fanita's there. Fanita doing her Fanita thing. Finita doing her Finita thing. Best dress, I would give it to who wins for me. These were kind of lackluster. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I think it was Hallie. No, Haley, Haley did good, but I think, I think I'm going to give it to Hallie. Oh, I yes, this one best dressed male is uh Darren Barnett. I'll give that to him. Best dress female. Oh my gosh, never mind. I forgot about Tom Hiddleston. Ah, sorry. I think I gotta give it to Tom just for him existing. Mm. 
I think I just gotta give it to him for existing. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Womp. Ooh, this one was good, but I'm gonna give it to Hallie. Best dressed, because it's giving princess. Okay, that's the end of my video. <laughs> Where are we at right now? Yeah, we're about to be, we're about to hit an hour. About to hit an hour. About to, about to, about to. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Lay Talks about random stuff, guys. Random stuff. I just be on here. Um, make sure to tune in next week for Lay Talks. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, let's see. And then, and comment down below what you think of all these topics and what you think I should talk about next week. And I'll see you later. Bye.